<clears throat> Alrighty. Okay. Uh huh. Are we live? Yes, we are. Okay. All right. Better mute myself. Okay. Okay. Let's lower that down. <laughs> I won't be hearing myself twice. Welcome, everybody. Um, this is kind of an impromptu. I just got my internet just kind of fixed up. And I really want to just make a quick, uh, uh, a quick video just before Kale drops, because um, uh, pretty much the data mines were very, very dry, except for the Zenkai kits. So the day just dropped, <laughs> and I'm gonna actually see most of this uh, blind. I only saw this one page here, so I'm gonna go take a look and see just how everything stacks up here. So I'm on the Twitter page for the guy that data mines and stuff. And, um, want to see just if any of the things that, um, uh, Red Max and I were hypothesizing actually do show up on here. I don't remember everything. I just came back from work. So let's see. So, uh, this is the Zenkai uh, kit for Super Saint Kale Berserk. Main ability restores own key by 50. Okay. That's obviously a big deal now. Like restores key by 50, applies the following effects to self plus 15% damage inflicted. For 15 timer counts, counts after enemy attack is over. Okay, so that's a still an unconditional. So they just moved it from, I believe, it was 10 to 15. Uh, inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade, plus 15% to damage received. For 15 timer counts, every time this character uses an arts, star, uh, arts card. Okay, so that's just no longer blast. It is just any arts card uh, for that. Okay. Um... Okay, good. And that's not blast damage either, so that's also a pretty big win. I'm actually going to go pull this one up real fast. I want to see the um, on the computer here, because uh, let's see. Kale, dragon, uh, dragon, ball, super, not super, uh, check all legends. Get my legends. Okay. Okay, dragon. Da, 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 da. Okay, so that's not that's not fun. <laughs> I just want the kit for that. Uh, it should be on the website here for that. Uh, okay, SB kale kit. Okay, hopefully that gives us what we need. Okay, so hopefully we're able to go side by side here, because I really did want to test things out with. Uh, <laughs> okay, maybe maybe not go through Reddit. Uh, let's see, DBZ space. That would probably be like the best place to do that. Yeah, DBZ space, DBZ space. Uh, yep, there it is. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we can kind of see now the difference because now we're looking at it. Uh, ah, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna just kind of compare real fast to see how it looks. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Okay. All right. Cool. Got it. Got it. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> Officially starting now. So, um, main ability, restores own key by 50. So, originally, there was no key being thrown on there. It was just, a just uh, yeah, so it went from 10% to 15% for the damage inflicted for, now it's 15 timer counts as opposed to 10. Uh, so, the original inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade plus 10 to damage received for 10 timer counts every time this character, okay, so that, it wasn't a blast, and I'm gonna forgive me for that. So, it's 15% to both. So, they just increased it by 5. I guess they thought it was pretty OP for that to be uh, b busted anymore. Okay. So requirements is 15 seconds. That didn't really change. So this kind of main ability, we'll see if, I think the lower half of it's going to end up being the saving grace for this character. Like it's the 15% just is unconditional. It could always stack. And I guess if later in the kit we see a card draw speed, she could do some insane amount of uh, blast damage or uh, any type of damage in general. <laughs> Okay, so, but the 50 key is actually a really big deal. Uh, just just seeing that there is uh, really telling that <laughs> uh, she's going to be able to be very key sufficient when um, uh, you deal with recovering from a rising rush of some sorts. Okay, so passive one. Uh, so originally the passive, let's see, uh, oh, passive one, I'm going to assume that's the, well, that's not the main ability. Uh, probably just what, the uniques? Is that going to be the uniques? I guess so, yeah. Okay. Following, okay, so intimidate, sustain damage up, inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade plus 20% to 
Blast damage received for 15 timer counts when this character enters the battlefield. Obviously a one sentence <laughs> one sentence deal. Uh, let's see what they do here. The following effects occur when this character enters the battlefield. Restores key by 30. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty big deal too. It, it's restoring the key by 30 just by showing up. Again, that's a thing that I kept talking about with how the green 18 wasn't that good. It's pretty much just how, okay... Uh, am I going to be able to continue the combo with this new character? Pretty much this one's going to be able to at least pump in at least maybe two cards at most if they're pretty cheap. All right. Inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade plus 30%. And inflicts enemy with attribute damage. Oh, okay. So just... Oh, okay. So this is still doing blast damage because uh, the other one, original one, was 20%. So we're going from 20 to 30%. For 20 timer counts as opposed to the 15 timer counts. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so that's, I'm assuming that's still, yeah. Okay, that's still the one the one that we're dealing with. Okay, so they just buffed it up from, was it uh, each one being 10? Yeah, 10%. So it went from 20 to 30 and then went from 15 to 20 timer counts. Okay, good. I th again, I think the key on switch in is probably like the best thing. All right, uh, passive two. Originally, it was randomly destroys two enemy cards when changing cover and plus 30% to damage inflicted for 15 timer counts and two sub count when activated. Okay, let's see what they do here. Following effects occur when changing cover. Randomly destroy two enemy cards. So I guess I was hoping for more than two, but uh, I guess they thought that was really strong. So they're keeping two. Reduces damage received by 20% um, until the combo ends. Okay, so that's a new one. Uh... It's a, some, tort of, some sort of cover cut. Okay, and then we got a plus 30% to damage inflicted for 15 timer counts when activated. Okay, okay, so it went from 20, uh, was it a, was it a, so they didn't actually change that one, but they increased the, no, no, so yeah, they just got rid of the sub count, the sub count, part. we all kind of figured that was going to be the case there. Okay, so that didn't really get too much change. It's probably the only thing that got changed was the uh, sub count and the, yeah, that's about it. Nothing else really changed. They just got rid of the sub count. So that's pretty good. I'm I'm happy with that. Okay, so now for the Zenkai stuff here. This is the new stuff that are going to be added. Let's see. Applies the following effects itself after enemy attack is over. Uh, restores, own key, restores key by 30. Uh, what is this? Uh, whoops. Looking at the thing with you there don't want to spoil here okay plus 30 percent to next arts uh, card damage inflicted cannot be stacked increase art arts card draw speed by level one for 10 aha okay so they really want you to rely on her to get hit and then strike back afterwards like if you but it does come with its own uh problems you're gonna end up having um sort of a situation where if you are covering there's still that chance that you may not be able to rebound, but that, that's more of a skill-based problem than anything. It is possible, but just it's one of those things where you're like, okay, I got to throw her in there and hope that the Rising Rush doesn't come in next. <laughs> okay, so that's a good one. I, again, she's getting key on, on the switch, and so that's what... Uh, hopefully I don't screw up the page here. Uh, that's what 30% oh, sorry, in terms of key. So she's getting key on switch in regardless. So she's getting a lot of key, just probably just as almost as much as the... Zenkai 21 was, but this one's the conditional for uh, cover cutting or cover changing in there. Okay, so we got, um, okay, restores key by 30. Uh, next arts card damage cannot be stacked, increases arts uh, card draw speed by 1. Okay, passive form applies the following effects to self when this character enters a battlefield if there is a tag girls or tag rival universe battle member. Other than this character in the party. Yeah, I was talking about this a little bit, but I knew they were going to have something kind of tied to that. Okay, so let's see. What is what is the passive going to be? Positive following six to self when this character enters the battlefield. And we have those those you know, uh, those tags. Plus 70% to damage inflicted. Reduce damage received by 15% for 15 timer rounds. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Minus 10 to blast arts cost. Oh, for 15 timer counts. So she's going to be one of those units that are just going to be popping in and just having super cheap blast cards. That is interesting. Okay. That's actually pretty darn good. I think the 70% in tandem with the other things going on here, she's going to be hitting pretty hard. 
Okay, let's see. Um, this is the last part of the kit. <clears throat> Blue card deals major explode damage. Inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade plus 5 to sub count. Okay, they didn't really change much on that one, I think. Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, that didn't really get much of a change. Uh, except what, it went from 15 to 20 timer counts. So it's it's a, it's a little longer. <clears throat> but it is uh, definitely going to help long term. Like 5 seconds is a pretty big deal. Alright. Re green card restores own health by 15%. You kind of figured that they weren't going to increase the amount of health. But it's plus 20% of damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. Okay, well, that's kind of a bummer. Again, this is a green card that's going to just kind of stagnate her. She's probably going to, uh, other than the whole deal with 18, where she needs that green to kind of just be like, okay, I need this green in order to vanish. At least this defensive unit is meant to be hit a whole bunch. So assuming that she's get stuck, she gets stuck with a whole bunch of green cards, at least if she's healing and someone hits her, she could finally, you know, she could tank it. And probably heal more than she loses, in theory. Okay, alright, cool, cool. Alright, and we got the Zenkai ability. And the Zenkai ability is... Let's see. Um, increases uh, the following stats characters. They're both red and rival universe. Yeah, kind of figured as much on that. Um, yeah, okay, and the Z, Z ability obviously doesn't change, does it? I mean, let's, let's see if they... Go ahead and change something here. Mm, well, that seems kind of odd. Why would it say... Oh, I would say 31% to base blast defense because that's less than the actual deal. Okay, that's probably just an error there. But yeah, red rival universe. I kind of figured as much that was going to be the case for that. Um, can't say I'm too disappointed in this one. I'm not really disappointed. I think actually this unit is going to be one of those nuclear blast uh, cards. That excels in defense. Uh, so defense and blast damage. I think everything else is kind of probably going to be mid. She's probably best meant to be run as... Um, I wouldn't say rising rush fodder. But she's pretty much fulfilling the same role that Red 21 is doing. Where she just th comes in, destroys two cards. And just, you know, essentially stops the combo from going in. And then just assaults you with blast cards. Now, the green probably in tandem with, with uh, 18 is probably going to be really, really good. Uh, we'll just have to see how things play out. But definitely seeing how uh, the girl the girls' team is seems to be way more a blast-based as opposed to strike-based as it's been uh, in like when the game first came out with these characters. I think this is actually a welcome change. We're, we're also getting another blast unit. She's going to be in tandem with the other 18, the other 21s. And, uh, yeah, I don't see any other, like, tangible red rival universe female that I could possibly run. I think, was it Rosie? She also has a Paralysis card in there, so, uh, Paralysis Blast. So, it'd be really interesting to see how what kit we can run with that one. I'm gonna have to, uh, mess around with the team a bit to see how that would work out. But, overall, I think this Zenkai is pretty fair and balanced. We'll see how she does in the damage department. Obviously, things are going to be a little bit more skewed because when she drops, she's most likely going to be in the future, the featured character category, where she's obviously going to be buffed <laughs> so high that it's going to not really show her true uh, damage. But if it's anything like uh, Goku and Vegeta, it should not be too much of a problem. So yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, a lot of this was uh, kind of saw coming. Uh, I did kind of call passive four. I think majority of the other passives, Red Max pretty much nailed right except with some of them being relegated to just pure damage not focused on blast so uh yeah um thankfully we didn't crash <laughs> i think this is a really big deal too because um i had some internet issues before and just with a flick of a button we got it to work so no drop perfect um we'll go ahead and um end here and we'll see you guys next time for tonight which is going to be the Kale Showcase, because that's going to be a thing I'm going to be waiting for. We won't be going as long as the 21 one. I don't think I'm ever going to want to go as long as the 21 Showcase, but we'll tr probably do like 30 minutes of just seeing how this Kale performs. And if she's good enough, I think she might be a mainstay for the team. Only time will tell. See you guys next time.